important things of note. PSA. Corrections and such as it's the second well, well, session. Well, we don't need to work. No, well, the first one is the big warning. We got it about the snow level. Save there to avoid game-breaking bugs. We will do that. The Marlowe experts of the Marlowe-verse know. Um, what else? Unfortunately, that loading screen can't come back, but it's the only time Marlowe smiles. Uh, but, uh, no, uh, the other one is, um, that the powers, Matt, do not come from being killed by the spear. They come from the mask itself, which went on his face. We didn't, it was a really, uh, it happened in that cutscene. Like, I know we're And we kind of ignored it, slash didn't notice that, uh, the power came from the mask. I was busy talking to my friend Wooly. The mask choosing Marlo. Not not Marlo choosing the mask. Exactly. Oh, this is a lot like Splatterhouse. That's the whole thing. So I'm, I'm just seeing Lords of Shadow. No, no, sorry. That that story contrivance you just oh the, the mask. mask. Picks him. Oh. And that's the whole thing of that game. It's the mask going. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So yeah. That's that's pretty crazy. Hey, so uh, the other thing of, of note is that um, Wooly just I was like, man, I didn't look up what this developer did before, and in a very monotone tone, Wooly just said, "Prison Break." Motherfucking, you know this pl this place. You've been here before. And you weren't even there for it. I you wasn't just, even there you for just it. Know the smell. The legends of the Prison Break it's LP. It's the smell that was on YouTube yeah. for years that was, after. That was afterwards. a good time because I didn't have to play it. Hey, at the behest of the LP, yeah, I'm gonna suggest something. Yes. Just stop moving. I will stop moving. Oh yes. Okay. So we'll talk a little bit until this Just happens. Let it rock. So Prison Break. Now, was there anything of the caliber of what we're getting here? Was there any indicator or telltale trademarks that you're seeing from one to the other? Absolutely not. Prison Break was Drac. Like, like, how you, I'm surprised you got this out the door. Wow. Because it's so broken in its stealth mechanics and it's just not interesting. But so that must have, so that was their first? I'm not sure if it was their first then, Juju, but... What's wrong? Have you been bitten by the deadly bandit cave serpent whose bite causes you to stand motionless until a true friend comes along and sucks out the venom? Don't because do that, by so, the way. You are definitely going to die. That's an old life's tale. So when we last finished the last session, lastly, <laughs> well, he's like, we look up and we're stopping the recording and we're like about to leave and we like the game was still on and then well, he's like, it's still going. They're still talking. So like it. what? Plot exposition happening on your idle animations. Um, the the prison break thing was like a license they landed. Yeah. And I guess all the money they made off of that gave them the ability to then make this. Okay. Whenever you're ready, just take your time. I understand the scenery is beautiful. You know, you could live here in your old age. You and Eva settling down, raising some kids, sacrificing them to the harvest gods. Sounds nice. So, of course, when they had Steve Bloom in the yeah, recording office. Totally him. They were like, hey, Steve, just go nuts. Just, and they just, probably recorded this shit. Why I wouldn't that's you? that's enough for now. Yeah, there's more. Yeah, no. The last one I saw was, oh, was Mask, on. you're so beautiful. Oh, I know. Anyway, and he just starts having a... Oh, like, oh, a dialogue with himself. Oh, uh, yeah. Pretending to be Marlo. I couldn't conversation. believe it Oh, you're getting tutorial prompts again. That's crazy. Which is nice for LPers, because we haven't played <laughs> in a couple days. So every once in a while, when you boot up the new session, you gotta go, Oh yeah! That's how you do that. Thank you. There should gotta be watch out for that XP that's flying yeah. at me. Yeah, yeah. So, give me an experience. Give me a story. Give me Deus Ex. Give me Marlo. <laughs> give, me, give me an LP. Where every time you load your yeah, save, yeah, yeah. the game is like... All right, here's the buttons again. So here's what you were doing. The objectives are going to stay on screen for the first hour. Oh, it wants me. It wants me to Mortal Kombat. It sure does. There's no blood. Nothing happens. 
Fuck, it, like it kills them, I'm glad, but... Nothing so, even happens, I, yeah. I was actually thinking about what you just said, like, return to a game. Yep. So, here's the thing. When we last mentioned I mentioned you, man, I'd like you, whenever you can in the future, if you could give a Darksiders game a go, I just want to know what you think about it. Because D. James designed some of the combat elements of Dark Side. That's what too. you told me back in the day. And you were like, wow, really? So when I start up Dark Siders 2 again, I talked about this in the podcast, I was like, it's been at least six months or a year since when I last booted this up, the definitive edition. Mm. And I went, oh, it's going to take me a while to reacclimatize all the combat. Damage shit. on this weapon is shit, by the way. Switch yeah, to. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. okay. It, I'm, I'm, I don't have to think while I'm using So, um, uh, while I was thinking that, I was like, you know what? That. While games nowadays do have the last time on, yes. and Darksiders 2 has that. Any of the major story points you've done, it's been like, it shows little cutscenes of what you've done. Yeah. But I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if there was a mode that just lets you go into training right away? And Darksiders 2 does not have that. I'm like, I'm not talking about Bayonetta just doing Load the screen combos. combos. I mean, like... It shows the control layout, and it says, do you want, like, a quick refresher on all of this? Because it took me a good hour to be like, oh, okay, right, I have, I switched weapons that way. Because Darksiders 2 is ludicrously complicated, because mm -hmm. every, every single button mm -hmm. has, like, a, an associated attack. And then if you hold down those things, it also attacks. DMC had that, actually. It did. DMC had a, had a little training uh, thing. I mean, Bayo is not just the, now. like, what, and Bayo runs down oh, the combo list as finally. well. Finally, remember these guys got nothing? Remember they got possessed yeah. and we said, what happened? Now you should try possessing them. Yeah, we forgot about that mechanic. I said, hey, Willie, remember that mechanic where we can make mind slaves? You were like, yeah, because we've been fighting bugs for the last hour or two. I'll do it next time. Oh. Your end. Oh. Go Wang. 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 Or was it Hong? It was Lan, I thought. We talked about this last time. Yeah, but, <laughs> if, but if it's Wang, then we can go Wang. So. Yeah. I hate it when a villain is not... is, like, not properly shown. In the sense that we saw him in the opening cutscene. Yeah, he was a once, douche there. But, but then it's like we just heard his voice on a PA system. Well, oh. God knows when you play Batman Arkham Asylum, You'll never forget who the villain is. It's the Joker. Yeah. Because he's on every screen. Yeah. You see him in a zillion cutscenes. It's because that's that's who they paid that's for. That's what you're selling. Yeah. They paid course. for Mark Hamill and they got They're it. They're selling it. Why not? Um, is it bubbly melting Joker or is that only in the second one? Uh, that's in the second one. Okay. Um, there you go. Fight my enemies. Fight them. Fight them. <laughs> oh, the enemy was what? himself. The cutscene killed him. If we end up getting separated again, you can use it to contact me. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh my God, Let's it's play. a turret sequence. It sure is. Wow, you turned on your people hard. If it shoots, move it. But it also, not only that, like, you're a general turning on your people. Like, don't you think you could convince some of them that like you and follow you instead of Wang? They're, they're like, oh god, it's the it's the dollar three D printed <laughs> helicopters, moving again at the speed of sound. sound. Uh, it's like, cause when we're finishing up, um, I like RE five. It has so many fucking turret sequences. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. At least these are pretty short, whereas RE5's kind of went on a little bit longer. Wow, that. these oil tankers are just littered across the road. Just Three give me, Just give me some story. You're, it doesn't have to be a good story reason, but that's all I need. Give me a bad story reason why all this shit's Positional going. explosives, really. Is this the boss helicopter? It must be. It's the leader of the pack. You know him well. Bye. I mean, like, and I'm even we're passing this many oil drums and explosive oil tankers, and I'm still saying the helicopters are outnumbering them. That one came out of a tree. It literally came out of a tree. It's a tree copter. <laughs> they lie in wait <laughs> in the branches and oh. they sniff out humans. The ancient rain. Those did too. I saw them that time. The ancient rainforest tree copter. They went copter. through all the shit. 
So I don't know. The natural I... predator of the snake. The turret. The helicopter. Watch out. I don't know if I've talked to you about this, but a neat thing that EA used to do was that when they had the license for all the James Bond games, they would have the first person segments made by whoever was working oh on the God, game. Oh, God, it's trying. They'd have the first person segments done by whoever's working the game. Uh -huh. They'd farm out all the driving and vehicular sections to the need for speed teams that they had. Whoa. So those always felt pretty awesome. And Let's completely different from the rest She's of the here. game. She's here. here any minute now. Follow me. Oh, is she gonna be a backup buddy? That would be cool. I would give Looks like it. props to it. Again, did you even try convincing your lackeys or no? Oh well. This, this is a fucking bog. This is like an RE7 How bog. Did you right? Maybe she's so just yeah. Maybe she's Ooh, just a meta. Uh, backstory for her. I was part of an undercover investigation. Ah, she's good. There you go. Wait, you were a cop? Please, I was a federal but You know the people that get results. Mm -hmm. And he gave me a choice: go home in a box, or join his crew and collect a very competitive salary. It wasn't a hard decision. Well, at least your loyalty's not cheap. Exactly. It's important to have standards. Look at her move. Federales! Colombian drugs! I want oh, nothing to do with it! it. <laughs> oh, Those are the shiniest They're chrome skulls! Gleaming. Are these from Dan Aykroyd's house? Right? Jesus. Herkimer Diamond Vodka Crystal. I think the girl might be voiced Solid by, as a long shot. by Summer Summer Cree. Alright, just that. Yeah. She voiced like Katana in the MK okay. um, cartoon, but I Ooh, think she almost Dutch angles. I think she voiced the 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 God. I forget. I forget most of the characters Friends on Rugrats' you, names except for Tommy and Angelica. But the black Don't girl, the black kid. Yeah. The black girl. Uh, Frederica. I don't know. I don't That's like these like statues in the center. Uh, I am uncomfortable. And I like the me. That's where you lost. He just said it. He just said I want nothing to do yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look around before I, I do that. Uh, I love the memes of. <gasps> hold on a second. Are you looking her up? Yeah. Thank you. Because I just saw a meme of her saying like uh, the thing that Nicki Minaj said to Miley. Like, and now for that bitch that's talking mad shit behind my back. What's good, Angelica? Oh shit. <laughs> I was like, oh no. These butt demons. Kimmy. Kimmy, okay. So, did the voice actress... Dion Kwan. What, that's the actress's name? Yeah. Okay, then, then not. Susie! Kimmy, sorry. God damn it. So, who voiced Susie? Susie is voiced by... Let's find out. Let's do that. Um... Well, so, it's, it's one that you've recognized before? You're... Basically, the voice I recognize. And why is it so Cree Summer? Yeah, Cree Summer. I said Summer Cree, so yeah. whatever. There you go. But yeah, the voice, the like, I because I was watching some Mortal Kombat cartoons the other day. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, Katana's voice. I forgot, but she's so, she's voiced like a million. Like she's been in the business for like thirty years. Time. Yeah. Um, she was uh she was Freddy on a different world. <laughs> Shit. She was. <laughs> Uh, Elmira Duff on Tiny Toon Adventures. Ooh. Dulcie on Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Chloe on Sabrina the Animated Series. Oh, I'm not familiar. Yeah. Um, uh, on a couple of other things here. Oh, she was Foxy Love and Drawn Together. Nah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Um, when you're talking about games that remind you what was going on, the earliest I remember, and I remember, like, fucking loving it, was Metal Gear Solid One? When okay. you load up your save, yes, you would get that that paragraph describing what happened in the in the last like section of the game. Oh, what? Oh! Denied. Got fucking dunked on. You were about to make it with your budget cutscene jump. The game's like, nah. Out of my house. So, like, yeah, now you're just pissing off actual ghosts. Ghost like, the mask is getting you into all kinds of but shit. shouldn't the mask be, like, better than this? Like, shouldn't it be, like, the lord of whatever? Long, 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 long. Okay. Oh, he's gonna do it again? <laughs> Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
sent into the maelstrom. Was a little too close. I told you I'm afraid of heights. This is actually a pretty cool. Damn, damn, damn. damn. Ah, mask. Ah, I'm not gonna make it. You're gonna be my sidekick. You need a better gimmick. Sidekick. No I can barely hear them over the mail over the roar of the of the wind. Yeah. Yeah. No, um the the uh, God, what was it? Why games are that tell you what's going on? Wow, look at this fucking shit. No, no, just the fact that like you went from chasing the girl and stopping this at uh, this random asshole entrepreneur to like pissing off other ancient beings that Marlo would have been fine with otherwise. Ugh. And that's all on the mask. Yeah, it's a no. You're he just going through burial grounds and shit. Holy shit. Okay, something's throwing those things. It almost looks like. Cross over, Marlo. Cross over to the other side. It's time for you to cross over. <laughs> this is not your home. This this is like the most God of War the game has gotten. Like the scale yeah. of this. Also, a giant wall scaling is like going through Hades, you know. Three times. Right. Four technically, I think. It happens in almost every game but except then, for the newest God of War. But then you see his cool helmet and you go, all is forgiven. Bro. Everyone forgets about his that fat That was not death. His fat gut, though. Kratos' fat gut? No, Hades. Oh. Wait, Kratos. Or, I, feel, I feel like he had he had like a gut on top of that like flaming cool helmet. Yeah, I know, because you know like that's one boss fight you have with him, but like I mostly remember Hades from playing PlayStation All-Stars. Because he was always in the background in one of the stages. Yeah, there we go. He has, a, he has a super gut. He's a total... I gut. hate the Hades design in, in God of War. Oh, yeah! It doesn't look Greek at all. It looks medieval. You're right. He looks like he's from fucking Maze the Dark Age. Congratulations, Matt. You ruined it for me. <laughs> it's, it's told you. <laughs> Instantly. In another game, he it's would look... Totally, it's like... It's totally inappropriate for the, for the era. Because all the other gods, I don't think I have any until problems with any of their designs. We say until someone finds the source material that they used to show you well, why yeah, it's Yeah, like some fresco or something. <laughs> Get that shit out of my face. That's not what... That's not my grease. Dude, did you see in Assassin's Creed Odyssey now? It's like, oh, this is the side quest where you fight the Gorgon. Oh, yeah. They don't care. Just fuck it. Now, are you on drugs or are you doing it for real? Well, here's the thing. Because anything is possible if you're like, it's the Animus and... Because when you fight Anubis in... You're in, high. As, as okay. a, like, uh, that daily that. mission or that monthly mission to fight that Anubis to get really good gear in Assassin's Creed... Uh, Origins, they, they explain it away like it's an animus glitch. Okay. So you're drunk on Uzo. You're drunk on Christian Bell Zeus. Juice. Zeus. Uh, yeah, this the stuff. This is what I need to climb on. That's a that's a generous hole. <laughs> Just take it in. Thanks, the chest, buddy. Idiot. Yeah. I mean, at least it didn't—it didn't knock you off for no. doing it, right? But hub it up, uh, and like any clock—not clock tower, but like a water mill things like this—just fucking smack Camp. of uh, warrior on, within to me. Oh. All these boring sections of the game. You know, I—I I don't. I've, All this rock must be killing the signal. I don't even know what the like. like what that game is like, to be honest. I've never even really that, that's watched it. That'll never I've never even watched it go. I have so much of Sands of Time in my head. And, uh, Good man. And I have the beginning of Pop Zero. Yeah, but yeah. that's about it. In my, uh, in my Prince of Persia retrospective, the amount of Salty Warrior Within fans were like, Everyone put Sands of Time on a fucking video! <laughs> And I'm like, it won Game of the Year awards, Warrior Within won nothing! I'm sorry! Like, it's the only, like... It's the most viewed video of them all, because there's people going, oh, I love, well, I love Warrior Within. 
Because people played it when they were 15 and 16, so they loved it. But I played original Prince of Persia on PC a fuck ton back in the day. And so when they were like, yo, we're bringing it back, it was like, oh my god, like, yo, this is crazy. It was like, you know, all fucking hype and nuts. And then you went through it and you're like, this is completely different from what I expected. But it's also really fun. And then the music was amazing. Because, uh, Stuart Chatwood yeah. fucking killed it. There you go. Ow, my own attack! Yeah. You found out my one weakness. I'm weak. And okay. then they just decided to change everything for the sequel because that's what was cool with video games at the time. And I'm like, but what about the Prince of Pershing? <laughs> stupid race thing now. Oh. This place is more decrepit than my third wife's mother. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that was bad timing. That was bad timing. Was, uh, uh, Warrior Within, though, like, did it, um... It still had Prince of Persia platforming, it was just way less than combat, right? No, 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 it, it, it was about the same, it's just that the... It's the, the combat was, was, like, better, but it was also designed in such a way that you can constantly just throw enemies off platforms. So it was like, get the combat over with, I can just throw guys off. A okay, lot of it, at okay. least. And the edgy combat well, music. Oh. That double jump. And the end, the edgy combat music as well. Or was it the whole soundtrack? It's also the game is like the glitchiest of them all by like a fucking wide mark. I've talked about How quickly before. afterwards did it come out? A year. Okay, that's that there that's all I same, needed to hear. Same thing with the third one. All I needed Two to hear. Was like a Two year. Thrones was a year after after yeah, Warrior it was, within. It was three games in three years. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, really? Yes. So that was actually the beginning of the desperate annualization yes. fucking Assassin's Creed bullshit. Was like, no, just keep it going though. And then they stopped. Make more money fast. Go, and then go they now. And made Pop Zero, which is another reboot that failed. Yeah. And um, then they went back to Sands of Time. Well, I mean, well, but I mean, Assassin's Creed happened in between there somewhere. Uh, yeah, the first one had come out by then. So that was their, like, annualize this, that'll make our cash. That'll be the cash cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I want to stop talking about it. That's fine. I brought it up, but whatever. <laughs> I just... Because I'm like, oh, man. I'm, uh, there's a lot of, like... Yeah. All right, we'll stop. We'll stop. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice door. It Look is. at these T-Pos and gods. This is how you do it, my sons and, and daughters. Okay, wait, alright. Wait, uh, do I need to put this under here to block this so I have time, or am I just using this to boost myself up to get here to op open up the switch? Like, do uh, I need this I think box you, here? Mm, I think you maybe... No, I don't. Yeah, maybe you just jump and wind that up and use that box under the door. Yeah. And then do, do what you gotta do. As you swing off of T pose and Axon Moon. I wish. That's a song title right there. T posing a Noxua Moon. All the kids are A posing now. This shit's ancient. S a swing, swing. Use the swing. Uh, oh, so fucking this time. How much <laughs> Okay, but now. Fuck that! I don't need Fuck that the box. Shit. Um. Oh. Yeah. Strategically waiting boulders. There's a. There he is. There's more. Now, now, now. They're thwomps. Oh God! What? No! <laughs> the challenge did not fail. Did you see that? I know it was too fast for me. It man. thought you failed, and then it, you succeeded. So it went. Oh, never mind. There's no way you'll win. My bad. How did you win? I don't want nothing to do with that challenge. Huh? T posing Pharaohs. Was it? It was just a big XP. Sure was. Okay. Uh, up, up and away then. I can't wait for Glitch Mountain. Snowy <sighs> Glitch Mountain that we're heading towards. <sighs> There should be a mask button like a like a boy button. Mask. Oh. Is this our first boss? This is your first boss. Is there a gimmick here? 
Because uh, I feel like that stone dais is like... Yeah, he's, he's Kotal conning you. Alright, you're going to have to wail on him for a minute. That was 20%. He's still taking fire damage, so... Ow. And he doesn't get launched, so... <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Kinda nothing. What about, what about fucking projectiles? Just see what that does, even. God, even... Look at that! Just fucking throw their sh- Oh, well, you go get the fill, refill. Yeah, because that's- it's magic. But it's so strong, like... Fuck it. The spell did 20%. This is gonna do way more. That's so much. It's so incredibly like, yeah. Fatality! Where did they come from? Oh, I control him too. Oh. Like, it's completely inefficient to spend your meter any other way. It, even though you haven't played it or you're familiar with it, I'm gonna reference Dante's Inferno again. Does this sound real? Am I making this up? When you uh, control a demon mount thing in that game, do you think that every button does a crazy vicious attack? <laughs> like, do you think they overdid it? <laughs> or am I- Too or many it, moves. Or does it have two attacks? <laughs> so, does every face button do a different one, In or is there only two? Including the start button. Yeah, no, yeah. but... <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know, that's a lot of work. If they, like, like, I, I'm, I will never complain. Yeah, it's a lot. Shoutouts to the exceptional move list you have there. Because the very first creature that you fight is uh, the very first, like, thing you can mount. Like, he stomps, grabs, sp spits fire, does a body slam, like, picks up guys. Like, it's too much. Never forget how depressing it is when you when you take control of Dormin and you think it's the hottest shit and oh, you realize yeah, you can't yeah, do yeah. anything. Huh. Yeah, that's implying stuff. That that's implying progress. There's a lot of awesome camera moves in this. No. Try jumping off the bridge towards us. And if that doesn't work, then just keep going yeah, it forward. It seems it'll, like it's pretty. It'll loop I'm, back I'm towards you. I'm impressed the body just hangs around actually. And dude, I'm sure you're supposed to just keep going and it'll eventually make you go where Yeah, you, yeah, where yeah I just want to make sure like that there was not like some jumpable or like another missable thing or whatever. Move it up. Oh. Yeah. Choo -choo. Take your time what I wanted. That projectile looked really bright. So, I was playing Dark... I'm not making excuses for that huge bundle. More, more Darksiders? You know, when I was playing Darksiders, to latch on to these things, it's RT, which I pressed because I threw that. So, all I'm saying is that I played a bunch of Darksiders, too. I said three, but I meant two. It's been a long day for old Matt. It's it is actually. You're you're cramming it all in there before you finally get a sweet release. Yeah, of death. Down. To this is so fast. It's upset. It's upsettingly <laughs> fast. Quite frankly. Don't worry. Soon the soothing, soothing nothing sounds of B Town. Ooh, the God of Rain, dude. Will be all around you. I like the God of Rain. Not really. It's kind of just like. You're just making it rain, though, right? You're not the god of thunder. Well, you're not the god of that it brings life, like to like parched land. Yeah, so it might be important. You're just not going to be much of a badass, really. Although rain is my favorite of the MK uh, ninjas. I did not know that. Yes, I thought it was Ninja Sabat. Um. Ooh, did I? Uh, did I touch on something? He's thinking, folks. I like them both a lot. Equally. Uh, okay. How about this? Before yeah. the new stuff, I liked I liked Rain more, and then after the new stuff, I liked Noob Sabat more. You still find and I it? always use them both. You still Rain find it ridiculous in MKX they had models for characters that didn't get used that were in fights. Yeah, yeah, They're very, yeah. It's kind of oh. nice. Have we strayed too far off God's path? No. Because we didn't hit a snow level yet. Because I'm kind of stuck here right now. Really? Hold on. Jump. Okay. No, that was just one that was just one zone. Okay. I was I was I was trapped on something for a bit. Game says no. There's a gross here. Yeah, old Rain, I loved his like cool move list and like taking control of you and like making the lightning strike and stuff. That was super dope. Um, 
And then, like, the Noob Sabot, like, story, st like, and then, like, the new Noob Sabot, I was like, yeah, okay, you're cool, too. But noob I Sabot. But I liked using them both back in MK3, you know? Ultimate MK3. Ultimate, ultimate MK3, yeah. I always forget that, that Rain wasn't in Ultimate MK3 for the arcade, but was in the home ports. New, new Rain was a lot, uh, wasn't as cool as Noob was. I am HO. 